Next, I'm going to show you how to program the temperature control device to get your incubator working. There is a manual, which I will include it on the box, but the letters are too small and it can be complicated to understand. So I thought I will make it easier for you guys. So first you're gonna hold your set button for three seconds. Okay, so this is your temperature set value, which means the temperature that you want your incubator running. We like to keep it at 85, but this is up to you guys. We keep it at 85 for the first few days and then lower the temperature gradually. So then you press the set button again, and this is your heating differential value. I always keep it at one. Then this is your cooling differential value. I keep it at one as well. Press your set button again. And this is your alarm high limit. This is really cool. It has an alarm for when it goes higher than the temperature you want it. So for example, on mine, I don't want it to go over 87. So I'm gonna go all the way down to 87. And if it goes over, it will like start loudly beeping. So then I'm gonna go to the alarm lower limit, which is the same thing as the high, just for lower temperatures. So for mine, I don't want it to go lower than 82. So I'm gonna take it all the way to 82. And if it, for whatever reason, it goes below 82, it will start beeping to alert me that something's going on. Press your set button again. And then this is your compressor delay, keep it at zero. This is your temperature calibration. I keep it at zero too. Then this is Celsius or Fahrenheit. I like Fahrenheit, but some people prefer um, Celsius. Then I'm just gonna go over to make sure everything's where I want it. 85, 1, 1, 87, 82, 0, 0. And hide and then hold your side button for three seconds. That's how loud. That's how loud it turns the alarm sounds because it's at 75. So it is alerting me that something's wrong and it's at 85. So all you do is just press that once you hear the alarm and it should start it should start heating up we're gonna see it in a, in a little bit and there you have it guys it's working once it gets to 85 this alarm will stop and it will just keep running at 85. So guys, I wanna show you how the fan works if the temperature goes higher than what you actually want it at. For example, I set it at 77 and it's telling me that it's at 80.3. So my fan's on. I can feel the air over here because it's extracting all the heat from the inside of the incubator. So you can feel the air here and you can see how it's going down. And it'll go all the way down to whatever temperature you have it set up.
and the fans are off guys.